decision that can define the shoot. A personal, creative, and technical choice made every day by photographers and cinematographers alike. The selection of a lens, described with words that signify emotion as much as science. Tone, color, sharpness, depth. Our goal is to remove the boundaries between what is imagined and what is possible. And for over 70 years of canon history, why we've always placed glass first. You have to get your hair bow in first though. Yeah. Can you let mom put your hair bow in so that we can feed the fish? Cambry, watch. It's Avery's turn to feed the fish and then it's your turn if you want to, okay? I gotta turn her. I've got her turn too sideways. Hey, Miss Avery, let's move just a little bit, sweetheart. Can you sit up on this big rock here? Here, I'm gonna help you. Stand up. Oh, good job. Avery, you gonna count with me? Okay, we're gonna count to three first. Count with me, ready? And then you're gonna throw it in. Look at me. Look at me, we're gonna count together. Ready, one. one. Two, what comes next? Oh, very good. Are they getting it? Are they swimming up? Awesome, Avery, you're doing so good. Let, let me see your pretty princess smile. Avery, there it is. So good. All right, Cambry, do you want to try with sister? I'm going to stand on this rock, okay, and if right she here? wants to, she can hold hands. No, Miss Kristen's going to sit right here for a second, okay? Miss Kristen can actually be right here, and I will crop you out. How about if Miss Kristen stays right here too? And I'll go over there. Okay, Miss Kristen, stay right here. Does that work out? High five, we got a deal, right? High five. Hey, Cambry, do you, can you help me with this elephant? Can you make him fly? Do you think you can make him fly high? I know Avery can. Can Cambry do it? Oh, you gotta come right here. You gotta count for me. Can you go count with Avery? Go count with Avery. Careful, careful. Okay. You stand right here. You wanna scoot over, right? Oh. Are you ready? I'm gonna, we're gonna count together. Put your hands down so you can count. Here he goes, Cambry. He's gonna go without you, ready? Are you gonna count with Avery? One, two, here he goes, one, two, say it. Three, oh, did you do that? Cambry. Cambry, where's my elephant? Where is he? Do you see my elephant? Where is he at? Can you go stand by Avery? He's gonna come tickle somebody. Cambry, should he get sister? Did you hear that? There you go. Do you want a jelly bean? Say yes. Say yes. Miss Cambry, can you put your hands down for me, sweetheart? Can you put your hands down? Because you gotta tell me what color of jelly bean do you want. Do you want pink or green? Oh, I can't hear you. Can you put your hands down? Avery, will you put your hand on your knee, sweetheart? Put your hand on your knee. Oh, oh, very good. Hey, go. Cambry, can you count for me? He's going to fly high. Are you ready? <gasps> Kristen, if you'll come back and take over, she'll let you. One, two. Oh, no, here he goes. She smiled and lost <gasps> it. Ready? Okay, I got to hear you. Ready? Ready, Miss Cambry? One, <gasps> two, three. Oh, Miss Cambry, look at that. Perfect. Look that was it. Did. We got it. We got it. Good I'm going to keep going while she's smiling. <laughs> Miss Avery, can you come help me? Can you do one by yourself? Can you come help me for a minute? We're going to see if Miss Cambry will do one by herself. Come help me. Come over here. Come over here, sweetheart. Can you sit right here? Oh, Cambry, is she coming? Cambry. Can you get this jelly bean? That's okay, Kristen and I, we can get it. I'll use, Avery and I are going to get it, right? Hey, Avery, come see. Come stand by me. Cambry, do you see my elephant? Where's my elephant? Do you know where he is? Where's my elephant? <laughs> oh no, he's on Avery's head! Let's see, Mr. Joe's very ticklish. Did you know that? 
He's very ticklish. <gasps> Perfect. We got it. Yay. Let's keep moving, guys. All right, Miss Avery, can you stand behind Daddy for me? Oh, good job. Perfect. Oh, very nice. <laughs> yeah, don't fall down. Megan, if you'll come right over here. I'm going to have you have a seat. Okay. Let's see. I think this is more comfortable. Let's go here. So you can crisscross and just lean into Rhett. Got it. Hambry's going to go right. Kristen, <laughs> Hambry's going to go right here on Rhett when you're ready. Can you do me a big favor? Will you put one hand on daddy and one hand on mommy? This hand's gonna go on mommy and this hand's gonna go on daddy. So you guys go this way, goofball. I got you, I won't let you fall. This hand goes right there. Oh, very good. And you can keep your acorn, but keep it hidden, okay? Oh, good job. So you're right in here and just lean in, okay? okay? If you guys can grab hands here, if that's comfortable, then do that or wrap around this so you're a little more cuddly. But just figure out what feels better. You wanna make sure your bottom goes to the back. A little twist. Got it. Otherwise, I get a lot more. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Red, if you can bring your left foot up just a little bit for me. Um, actually, go back. Let's just see if Avery's feet can come up over your leg a little bit. Cambry. So they're not dangling. A Cambry. <laughs> there we go. And then just smooth out our little dress. I see your toes. Whose cute little feet are those? Whose cute feet are those? I got to do a quick touch shot. And then Megan, this hand, either lay it flat or grab on a Rhett's arm or rest it across your lap. Whatever feels natural. <laughs> Can you rest? I know what it is. It's because you need to angle a little bit more. Bring your bottom more, your hip more here. More there. Okay. There you go. That way. That's Let me have that. How's that feel? Better. Much better. Relax. 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 Okay. Relax. Got it. There. I yeah. can do that. You right there? Yeah. I'm Perfect. Good. Much better. All right, Miss Avery, are you ready? Let's hide our acorn here instead. You were right the whole time. You were right. <laughs> We've got the happiest faces. Rhett, just turn your head to me a little bit. Megan, just a little lean into the crew. What? No. Yeah, pizza? Did you have, let's Perfect. see. Oh, I know, you had corn on the cob, right? <laughs> <laughs> Say, Miss Kristen, you're silly. <laughs> Rhett, look at Cambry real quick. Megan, look at Cambry real quick. Miss Cambry. There we go. Megan, just tuck your hair back for me on this side so I can see a little bit more of you. There you go. You guys look at Cambry again. Avery, look at Cambry. Cambry, look at Daddy. Show Daddy. <laughs> what do you do with your tongue? Awesome. Perfect. 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 I'm gonna get one more smiles this way, okay? Miss K Miss Avery, where's that beautiful princess smile? Did you lose it? Did you lose it today? Oh no, Cambry, did she lose that smile? Awesome. We got it, guys. We got that one. You wanna take the girls for just a second? I'll do just mom and dad. Y'all are gonna swap places. So Rhett, just get comfy, kind of have a seat. Megan, just cuddle into him like you guys are watching TV on the couch. You're going to just kind of scooch in. <laughs> like before you had kids. <laughs> Is that better? Yeah. The way you had that originally was better. Can you pop that under, this one underneath? Yeah, so that Megan can lean in. I think it's you. <laughs> I think you're the problem, Rhett. Hang on, let me cuddle with Megan for a second. We're going to figure this out. I think it is you need to be a little bit more kind of up. Like so, so Megan can lean it. Cuddle with me, Megan, so she can cuddle. That's the plan. And then you can actually lean this arm on his leg when he's like fresh arm. You guys have forgotten how this works. <laughs> cuddle. I know, right? There you go. There you go. There, Megan, lean up. Perfect. Give me a picture here. Perfect. This is where I was talking about giving the girls breaks. They were doing really mm -hmm. good and they were smiling away and I just don't want to lose them. So mm -hmm. Kristen's going to take them for a little bit. I'm going to get just mom and dad for a couple. So they oftentimes we've found don't ever, haven't had portraits done of just the two of them mm -hmm. a lot of times since their wedding. Mm -hmm. So we try to always at least get a couple with them because they're still a couple. Some days, right? Absolutely. Don't hide your ring. <laughs> I know, it's like, don't hide your ring. No, I, I just said you're a couple. I noticed that even in an open shade situation, you're using that OTB box and flash. Yes. <laughs> I still want to control my direction yeah. more. Yeah, you still want to create that. Yeah, and honestly, I would have to blow out all of that background, um, you know, even in the water and stuff to quite an extent 
to really get the light on them like I would need it. Yeah. So this allows me to still capture the detail in the, in the background. Scene. Yeah. Yeah. Looking great, guys. <laughs> I mean, aside from the deer and headlight look, y'all look fantastic. <laughs> Right, you're going to lean in close. Megan, lean in close. Awesome. Beautiful. Gosh, we haven't done a filbert in years. Years and years and years. All right, here we go, guys. Perfect. Megan, this hand looks a little stiff. Just kind of rest it on Rad a little bit more. Up on his, up higher. That way. Yeah, there you go. Perfect, guys. Hang on right there. That's gorgeous. Don't move a thing. Excellent. All right, guys, what I'm going to have you do is the, the smile at each other thing. Wait until I say to do it or it gets weird and Rhett, watch out your hands clawing. Clawing, are you freaking out? <laughs> You're like a cat. <laughs> yeah. Serious, serious thing going on there. All right, guys, I'm gonna have you smile at each other when I say three, okay? One, two, and three. Lean in for a kiss, lean in for a kiss. On camera, don't oh. you love that? That was fast, man, you gotta do that again. That's what happens when you mess it up, you gotta do it again. Ready, one, two, three. Perfect. Okay, don't move a thing, don't move a thing. I'm just coming around. Rhett, just angle a little bit toward me, just kind of scooch this way. Scoot, scoot, scoot. Megan, same thing, scooch into him. There we go, perfect. You guys lean in real close for me. You got it. And Rhett, pull that hand around a little more to Megan. There you go, you got it guys. I don't know what's going on with that hand, Rhett. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One more time, guys. Perfect, we got it. We're gonna do um, a book trick that I do a lot with little kids and to mix up the smiles and looking down, y'all get a break again. Thank you. We're gonna do the book, so. You guys wanna read a book? Come have a seat for me right here, Miss Angry. I'm gonna help you with your, sh with your dress. Have a seat right there. Let's put Cambria on this side so she's not shadowed. There we go. Because you know what I still owe you? A jelly bean. I'm gonna go get the book. Yeah. I purposely put Cambria on the left because she's the shorter of the two and the light's coming from that direction, so mm -hmm. I don't wanna get a shadow from Avery on Cambria. I've got the book, great. Here, I'm sorry. Have Avery hold it up just a little bit more so we don't see him. No cheating. Are you ready? Do you see him? Do you see him in there? Okay, find your jelly bean. Ready? One. Miss Camper, do you see it? One, two, three. Get your jelly bean. Get your jelly bean. Oh, good job. Girl. Perfect. What we're doing is the jelly beans mm -hmm. or what, what works really well too is Gerber snacks because they're mm -hmm. flesh toned. So if they do grab them, they're easy to Photoshop mm -hmm. because they're, they're skin toned. Yes, that, that makes point. perfect sense. So, and I'm sorry, I guess that's referring to, you know, Caucasian people. Uh -huh. Chocolate Cheerios also yeah. work really well. They're, they're skin toned. So we try to keep those on hand with mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And so if we need to use food and stuff instead of things that are hard to get out, Pink and green jelly beans have a point too because we ask them what color they want. Yes. And those are the only ones we keep are pink and green in our bags. So they have to say pink or green, yeah. but it keeps them <laughs> smiling. Very clever. We've got that one. Let's turn them around backwards. Okay. All right, okay. you guys want to feed the fish one more time together? Sit. Here we go. Just like this. Ready? Woo! Oh, it's okay. Miss, Miss Avery's going to be right here. Gracious. We're going to feed Can the Ms. fish. Avery, hold your hand. Will you let her hold your hand? Yeah. She'll keep you good and safe, okay? Yeah. Okay, there we go. We'll have her put her arm right around you so you don't go anywhere. Oh, very good, perfect, perfect. Miss Kristen's going to get the fish food, okay? So once she gets back, since I've got little ones by a pond, I'm gonna stay, and when Kristen gets back, I'm gonna back up. Kristen just fluffed their dresses in the back for me real quick, if you would, and Avery's arm back around Cambry. Perfect. Fish food was the best invention ever, wasn't it? <laughs> Perfect. We got that, guys. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Go to a new spot. Actually, let's use this spot. Again, change my mind all the time. <laughs> Y'all are almost perfect. So, Megan, go ahead and hop on up. Right, come down like two steps for me and do exactly what you're doing. Come scooch this way just a little bit. Megan, this is, woo! This is your spot. In between, so you're going to have a seat here and then just pop up on Rhett. Right on, right there. You'll have to rotate. 
to kind of fit in there. <laughs> so twist on your hip a little all the way a little bit more where you're sitting on your hip almost yeah there you go and then just pop up on ret perfect miss cambry here i got a question for you can you sit on mommy's lap right here she's got a seat for you can you sit on mommy's lap what about for another jelly bean in a minute kristen i may need your coaxing you are bonded hey miss avery Miss Avery, come here, sweetie. Thank goodness that was grass. <laughs> yeah, I was running for it. To sit on Megan's lap. She never puts her <laughs> Straight. I gotcha. I'm not letting you fall anywhere. Can you have a seat right there for me? Can you sit down? Oh, good job. And can you hold on to Daddy? Oh, perfect. Megan, on this hand, just actually kind of kick underneath Rhett. There you go. And just let the hand relax. Hair is perfect. Cambry's doing good. Miss Avery, <laughs> hold on to daddy's arm for me. A Avery, you hold on to daddy's arm. Oh, oh, very good. Now let me see that princess smile. Where is it? Miss Cambry, do you see that puppy? There we go. Can you blow up kisses? Go. Flash. Hug on daddy. Good job. Perfect. Miss Cambry, did you lose your teeth? Rhett, lean into Megan for me with Where your hands. Where are those just teeth? Did you lose them? She lost them. Oh, no. Oh. There it is. Got it. Um, I'm watching each kid. Yeah. So as long as I got them both in the same setting with the same lighting, mm -hmm. we move on. Mm -hmm. I merge. <laughs> I was going to say, you can always merge later if you need to. So it's what, what I'm considering is that is not a fix in Photoshop. That is a tool. Yes. <laughs> that is a, I need that to keep moving. Yeah. So, all right, guys, we're going to go to a new spot. So I tend to walk sometimes in the grass and then realize um, I've made footprints. So I'm about to walk over here. So I'm going to kick them off because otherwise I would make my own footprints that I'd get to Photoshop out later. Ah, got so it. Just heads up when I throw my shoes off here. I don't typically shoe barefoot, but. Miss Avery, come see. I think we could probably let them both hold a, a jelly bean to hold hands and then. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna stand right here and you're gonna hold Miss Camry's hand and we're gonna giggle at each other's noses. Okay? <laughs> We're gonna try giggling at noses first. Very special job. Oh, good. Okay. Come on. Oh, now, thank you. Okay. <laughs> right here, hold right. sister's hands for me. Oh, both hands. We're gonna hold both hands. Like, bring around the Rosie. I'm gonna get to one. So, what is she having them do right now? They're holding uh, jelly beans right now. Um, I'm trying to get them in this archway of these trees. Uh huh. With that light coming through. One more time, Kristen. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> and we're going to try and get him looking at me. Can I see your pretty princess smile? Oh, there you go. Good job, girl. What do they have on their hands? Do you still have your jelly bean? You still got them? Okay, remember, no peeking. No peeking. Can you tell Miss Rachel what color your jelly bean is? What color? Is it pink? What color is yours, Avery? Red and pink. <laughs> Red and pink? You have two? <gasps> Cambry's good right there. We're going to keep working with her. Miss Avery, can you step over by Mommy real quick there for you me? Go. Hey, Miss Cambry, Miss Kristen's coming to tell you a secret. Stay right there. Scoot to the left, Joe. Scoot to the left. I'm keeping her in the sunlight right there, Kristen. Cambry, what did she say? Cambry, that puppy's not going to get me, is he? Cambry, should I be worried? Cambry. Uh-oh. <gasps> what? What did she say, Cambry? Is she being silly? Is she being silly over there? That's what I thought. Do you see Daddy over there? Is he being silly? <laughs> he is? Did he smile at you, Cambry? There we go. I'm going to get one more where she's looking down. Oh. Hey, Cambry, is that a ladybug on your shoe? Is that a ladybug on Mr. Joe? <laughs> How silly, he got a ladybug. Did that ladybug kiss him, Cambry? Oh. Adorable. <laughs> We got that. Let's get let's get uh, Avery real quick. <laughs>
Scooch back right there. Awesome. All the way back by these pretty he plants. Awesome. You keep scooching back, scooch back, scooch back, scooch back, scooch back, scooch back. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey Avery, you know what? Do you know whose those are? Can you put your dress down for me real quick? Oh, very good. Do you know who has the stinkiest feet, Avery? Mr. I Joe. <laughs> Avery, do you think it's Mr. Joe, or do you think it's Daddy? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought too, and I thought you were going to say that. There. Oh, I you she's lost she's really good sister. at the princess smile. She's so sweet. All right, new spot. Let's uh, let's grab the whole family here, and I'm going to get each of you guys with the girls, and we're all set. You're going to bring a hand around here. Miss Avery's going to come right up to you. Okay, so you want to kick your weight to the back leg. Oh me. Mm -hmm. okay. Hand here. Hand around Avery right here. Miss Avery, come see. Let me see how tall you are right next to mommy. Oh, good job. Let's put your hand around. Can you hold mommy's hand? Oh, oh so, so sweet. Kind. Can you hold it with both hands? Oh, good oh, job. Brad, I'm going to have you put Cambry right on your leg. And be sure you keep your legs angled a little bit so I'm not shooting into your legs this way. Which and way her, are you, are you I'm shooting from over here. So, you, yeah, you don't have to go too far, just not straight at me. There you go. Hey, Avery, can you cross your foot like that? I thought you could. Princess feet. I knew you could do it. I knew you could. Rhett, sit up a little bit taller in your back. There you go. And Megan, just lean in towards Rhett just a little bit. In fact, your left hand go all the way around him to his other shoulder. Yeah. Miss Cambry, how many jelly beans are we going to eat? Are we going to eat one, two, or three? How many? <laughs> Hang on, I'm going to check that. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. One more time. What about Miss Avery? Miss Avery, do you want one? Two or three jelly beans? <gasps> three? What about Perfect. Cambry? I there didn't hear Cambry. Say it real loud. Say it real loud. We can't hear you. Cambry wants. Perfect. I'm going to get one profile here, babe. So, what we have you guys to do is Joe's going to make a silly laugh. Y'all just laugh at him. Okay. He likes when people laugh at him. Uh, profile <laughs> from this direction for me. Um, actually, I think we're okay on this because I'm going to use the profile light so okay. you can. Pull away, Nana. I think we have a cloud too. Hey, Megan. Will you do me a favor and just have a seat right next to Avery, right there on the ground? Okay. Just kind of scooch right in front of a little planter where you're sitting on your hip. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, you got it. Yep, and just wrap around her. Actually, hold her hand. That was cute. You just naturally went there. Perfect. I need to move that flower out of your head, though. Hang on. I don't think I can move this. Oh, yeah, I can. Her! <laughs> it's like the lightest thing in the world. <laughs> All right, Joe, you ready? We're getting one more profile here. Avery, do you see Mr. Joe? Uh oh. What's he doing? What's right here. All right, guys, we're just going to get the uh, mom and the girls and dad and the girls, and we're all done. You will hold around her waist for me, Rhett. Awesome. Here, watch, I'm going to show you the baby. Yeah, and I'm going to have her put her hand on your hands. Hold daddy's hands real still for me. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Where'd he go? Oh, <gasps> did he get away? There he is. Nope, that's, my, that's a snail. Miss Kristen must have him. Oh, Miss Kristen has him. Up a little higher. Hold on to daddy. Oh, good job. Okay, where's that Rolly Pulley? Is that Rolly Pulley going to give Miss Kristen a kiss or me a kiss? Uh oh. Uh oh. Is it going to be oh, me? He tickles your lips. Oh my goodness. Rolly Pulley kisses, Cambry. Oh, oh. Goodness. Hey, you, Miss Kristen. <laughs> Did we fire Joe? Oh, dang it. Miss Cambry, did he come give you kisses? I got Avery. Can you put your hand down for I me? I need Miss Cambry. Can you put your hands down? There it was. Oh, that that's was beautiful. So pretty. All right, Megan, you're up. <laughs> we're going to sit with mommy for one and then we're all done, okay? And then we get stickers. Who wants a sticker? I do. Yay! I okay. do. Megan, if you come right no, here. You know what? Go crisscross. Okay. Okay, just sit crisscross with Cambry right here. Make sure both feet are in front so she's not out. 
and Avery, okay, mommy's going to stand right here. Can you put your hand around her? Snail. You have a snail? Oh my goodness. I'm going to let Kristen get a snail kiss. Oh, Yuggy, snail kisses. You're going to hold on to mommy right here, okay? You don't want a jelly bean or a sticker? We're ready to get stickers. Miss Kristen has a question for who wants a sticker, but you got to be in the right spot. Um, Megan, turn in a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Oh, did I sit on you? Here, no, come right here. my blister. Oh, yeah. your blister? We'll get a band-aid for it, maybe a sticker for it. Those How about an extra time, sticker? Don't they? Every time. Megan, just go around her waist for me. Do you remember how a princess sits? Do you remember? <gasps> you remembered! You remembered how princesses sit. Good job, perfect. I have a snail for you to get a kiss from. Well, that's a different <laughs> It's just a shell. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> gonna draw the line. <clears throat> <gasps> Got you in my shot. Thanks. <laughs> Two stickers. There's Cambry. And he made no, it on I Avery. know. Miss Avery, we need three stickers, don't we? Say yes. Can we hear you say yes? Say yes, Miss Kristen. <laughs> Look at Miss Kristen and tell her. Tell her yes. I can't hear you. <laughs> yes. Very good. Cambry. Did you hear that? So we're going to do three jelly beans and Adorable. Uh, Rhett, I know I said I was done, but this is too pretty, so come on over. I mean, yeah. <laughs> come down on this knee. Just wrap around right here. I'm going to have you talking to Cambry. Okay? You're going to look up at Avery like you were doing just a minute ago, okay? Cambry, can you sit up like a big tall girl? Let me see how tall you can sit. You sit up real tall? Sit up real tall. Princess. Oh, good job. All right, so you're gonna come right in here. So you're gonna, I'm gonna have her smile up at you. So you just keep looking at her. Do you see mommy right here? Put your hand here. Okay, you see mommy? When I, when I tell you, you're gonna show her your prettiest princess smile. But don't cheat. Not until I say it, okay? No cheating. No cheating. Megan, I'm putting this back. Do it, okay. Okay, Rhett, you just keep looking that way. Megan, you just keep looking that way. Avery, not until I say three, okay? Can you cross Cambry's feet from? Yeah, she just did it. You just crossed your feet for me. Okay, uh, let your arm relax, Megan. There you go. <laughs> All right, are you ready, Avery? Show mommy. Oh, look at daddy's nose and giggle, Cambry. Oh, very good. Look at it one more time. Giggle at his nose. Giggle at daddy's nose. Oh, adorable. Did you see her with the dress? Yeah. Perfect. We got it, guys. It's a wrap. You did so good. Oh, yay. Go see what Miss Kristen's got. She's got stickers. We've got prizes. Where's my hug? You did so good. Thank you so much. Avery, you get a sticker you from Miss Kristen. Thank you. Guys. That was a beautiful so session. Fun. It was always. We got so it all. Fun. Thank yeah. you so much. We got them all, guys. You betcha. Was gorgeous. You betcha. So, that was beautiful. And Avery pulled her dress right at that minute when she looked over. It was so cute, like a little princess. Yes. <laughs> Woo! It's getting humid. Good, good uh, ton in here. We had an awesome session this morning. It was so fun. A little girl started off a little rough, but she ended up being just fine, which I think... A little like, rough, a full-on meltdown, yes. <laughs> yes. But in part to you and your staff, it just turned out to be amazing. I'm really excited to see the images, actually. So you're going to take us through a little bit of your workflow and how you... Yes, get them prepared for the client. Okay, cool. So, I'll just let um, you take it away. We do, of course, bring these through Lightroom initially and add a little bit of warming to it and, and you know go through and take out the ones that, you know, we've got mm -hmm. funny faces and blinks and we go ahead and eliminate most of mm -hmm. those. Mm -hmm. um, what I'll do is once I have them is I'll just kind of do a run through and see, you know, do I need to remove anything in the images that are an issue? So mm -hmm. I'm just going to kind of glance through some of these real quick Cute. and see. Now you can <laughs> see this is when we first started getting Miss Cambry uh -huh. considering this, this maybe one. a little she's bit. She's two? She's two. Two years old. So she's thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> And same here, still thinking about it. So I may do something with these images, but this one here, Avery's got a beautiful smile on the left. Uh -huh. Cambry is at least in the image. She's in the frame <laughs> and she's holding her sister's hand, which is a huge prog progression yes. as we slowly co <laughs> coax her in. Um, so you'll notice here, this is not the best Avery face, yes. but Cambry looks sweet as a button. Yes. So Kristen put this in here, Kristen, my assistant that does the initial Lightroom uh -huh. edits, has put this in here for me to be able to work with. So what I'm going to do is merge these two images where Kristen has sent both over to me. This isn't one we would necessarily want the client to see, but it's a perfect face for Cambry, so I'm gonna use yeah. that to bring her on over. Yeah. So I'm just gonna open those up in Photoshop 
and I'm just going to do a little merge there. That, we don't do retouching and, and all beforehand necessarily on our images. Mm -hmm. um, we send them to them after I've done a couple of maybe if I need to open eyes, if I need to do a merge with, um, mm -hmm. you know, siblings, something like that. Or if I see anything where maybe our light got in the shot, but I want the whole frame and I mm -hmm. might go in and clean that out. Uh, there is another one in here where there was a spot I really loved, mm -hmm. but there was a l lamp post or a light sticking uh -huh. out that I knew I was going to take out later yeah. because it was, you know, it was a beautiful light condition, yeah. but I didn't really care for the light bulb. So, um, so I'm just going to do one of these merges real quick here okay. where I'm just going to pull Cambry over. So what are you doing? You're just pressing Command J <coughs> and just, right. I'm just launching her over. I'm right into what I do. <laughs> um, I actually just use my marquee tool um, and just selected around her and let's actually look here at the you can see I just grabbed that one little section got it okay um, I'm gonna use the move tool and just bring her right on over uh, and then I use free transform smart objects and things like that I don't typically use for something like this I'm doing a quick mm -hmm. merge and I'm going down on size this her head size is larger here so yeah I would never bring a head size that is smaller over to a larger. So I wouldn't take Avery from this one and move her over to that close up yeah. image because it would pick the I'm trying to. Yeah. Right. So on this case, I'm, I'm just going to go in and lower my opacity so I can see. So I'm just going to bring Cambry in right here and slide it in, match up her cheek and her face, and make sure everything is lined up. Um, whenever opening eyes, one of the best tricks that I've learned as well, and you'll see I'm very particular. We don't want Avery's or Cambry's head, the little girl's head to suddenly be here and then here. Mm -hmm. So I'm very particular about lining it up and that's why I drop that opacity down mm -hmm. on the layer itself so I can see mm -hmm. as I'm going what you're in doing. There. Yes. So I'm just gonna set that on my free transform, pull it back up and I'll use a, a layer mask. I'm just gonna fill my layer mask and grab my brush tool. So I'm gonna grab my brush, make sure I'm at 100%. Oh, that is a sad little face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just going to go in and bring that layer in from underneath. So you're just bringing the face back and that's it. That's it. Yes. I just want to bring in right in here and make sure that it all lines up nice and clean. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Instant smile. Instant <laughs> smile. So I'm going to bring that out. And now I've got the image that I'm actually going to show my client. So uh -huh. I... I don't recommend this um, if this is new for photographers, but I generally will save this. We have our raw data mm -hmm. in a totally different folder. We have it still in Lightroom if I need to go back. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saving over anything that I can't get back mm -hmm. at this point. But for their, their proof gallery that they're going to view here, I'll just go ahead and save it over. Flatten it and mm -hmm. go for it. Flatten it, close it out. I'm just going to close this one out because I'm not going to use it. And then I'll go in and just grab this one that was my initial uh -huh. And in their folder, I just make myself a no with their, with their name. And that's in case I ever need to go back for anything. Mm -hmm. So uh, to save myself a step of going back in and reprocessing mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. um, I'll just go and make a little folder and just start sliding the ones that I don't need over. It helps me move a little more yes. efficiently. So what I'll do is when I've got that image, I've used what I needed to pull Cambry over here. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to drag that image into my no folder. It just It's something easy for me to just slide them. Keeps as I'm working in bridge and I yeah. can keep, keep a track of what I'm doing. So I'll go through these other images and there's, there's ones in here I can see that Kristen has purposely left me two identical images. Our clients, we've, we've learned, they don't need to see both of these and mm -hmm. it just makes the process difficult for mm -hmm. them. If we have, you know, five or six or seven of the exact same spot, the exact same image. Mm -hmm. And our clients trust us enough to know that we're looking for the very best. So I can see that here Avery is, is giving us one of those mm -hmm. forced Mm -hmm. fake smiles but Cambry is laughing she's, yes she's thrilled mom and dad look great so I'm gonna do that same process I would just merge uh, Avery from the right into the one on the left uh -huh. or Cambry from the left into the right and choose sense. one of them and that's what they'll see so let's just go down to just picking an image that we might want to use <laughs> oh, sweet and that's actually pretty adorable uh, both of those are where we could use Avery's face from here. Yes, because um, over on this side, her face isn't quite as, she's not looking down at right. Cambry. Yep, she's got more of a fun face on the right. So I'll go ahead and do just a quick little merge because this is actually probably one that I would recommend to them uh -huh. as a, f a main piece. Yeah, because Cambry looks so cute and everybody's so genuine. Yes, and, and she's laughing, mom's laughing, dad's laughing. This is a true fun one. The only one we lost in this moment was Avery. Mm -hmm. Now, one other thing that I am going to, to 
go through and watch for as I'm doing initial edits is distractions, things uh -huh. that I couldn't have controlled necessarily at that moment. Mm -hmm. So occasionally I'll be in a place where we'll have telephone wires in the background. Mm -hmm. I won't go in and take all those out for their initial look through, but I will go let them know by going in and picking one of those and retouching it out so that in they the can see that piece. that's going to be done in their finals. Mm -hmm. um, but I notice her hand has yeah. moved forward here on dad and it looks like some kind of yeah. strange thing coming out of his face. And he also has a little double chin going on yes, and all that kind of stuff. Yes, things like that I'm going to go in and just kind of clean up in the, in the little and little signs like this down oh, yeah. on, on the ground. <laughs> um, I'll go in and take all those out for uh -huh. a sample retouched version. So let's just do a quick little merge here. So I'm going to do that same process. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to bring it over. And I'm going to scooch through Avery Red over here. Make sure she lines up. What I need to do here is just line up this side because I still want her looking up. So you're really looking for that nose and those lips to align and... To some extent, she's looking so far down. Uh huh. I see that. That I wanna. I'm. I'm trying to determine whether I want to go with her head up just a little bit more, or whether I want to actually line up to the background here, which is what I think might be my best bet. The other one was a little cleaner mm -hmm. in terms of moot and mm -hmm. terms of emerge. Some are a little bit more involved. Um, one thing I have learned is when opening eyes, if you will click on and off of a layer, people will blink at you. <laughs> if you have them really the done right, right. Spot. yeah it makes sense so um and it's really funny to watch them blink at you by turning <laughs> the layer on and off and and so you know you have it in the exact spot because it's never good when the eyes go yes. like this when they're blinking at you it tells yes. you that you're off um so i always try to click on and off as i'm working on it um to make sure that i have what i need so you just inverted your layer so you can paint the face on rather than taking it away right right I believe I went the other way last time, but there's a, what, 101 thing, ways to do things in Photoshop. <laughs> in Photoshop. <laughs> so I like to use a brush tool because I can kind of blend the area a little bit more smoothly mm -hmm. and, and fill it in where I need to. So this time you're really taking her whole head. Yes. This time I'm really taking her whole head because her positioning of her head was completely different. So uh -huh. I am going to go in and bring the entire head over and then just clean up on her shirt right there. Well, she is a little small, so uh -huh. I'm going to bring her back out just a little bit. So, but I think that we're looking pretty good there. I just need to clean up this area. And so when you go in for the final retouch, you're going to zoom in real close and make sure everything's absolutely perfect. Exactly. You. I'm going to go in and make sure that even maybe where her boots are sticking out, um, might do just a little more shadow right here, kind of mm -hmm. enhance that shadow and, and, and do a lot more enhanced work on it as mm -hmm. I'm uh, going in for the final final. If mm -hmm. this was a, a main wall portrait, then yes. Um, but I'm going to go in and just fill in that hand right there mm -hmm. because that's really bothering me. And I would do this before the client saw it, probably because I'm slightly crazy with things like that. <laughs> and what about the double chin, especially with dads who are self-conscious or something like that? Does that worry you at all that they'll like nix this image because he's got a double chin? No, they know I can fix it. <laughs> they know you can <laughs> fix it. <laughs> well, um, I, not necessarily as much with dads. I don't worry about it so much, but with moms, yeah. if I did have a, a noticeable double chin because they tucked their chin or something at the last minute laughing, mm -hmm. I would probably go in and do a little push. Um, or if I felt like they might be concerned about something, um, then I might go in and take care of that beforehand. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, yeah, we would definitely fix that in the finals, go in and clean that up for them. Mm -hmm. And we make any kind of special request notes that they may have. I'm going to go in and just use a tiny bit of liquify on that. On that chin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I'll just blend that one part just a tiny bit. Because it's a little harsh right there. So typically what I'll do is go in and show them what can be done on one image, but I won't go through and show the whole process. Uh-huh. Because it makes no sense if they're not going to purchase it to do exactly. the work. Yeah. And that seems to help quite a bit for that initial viewing. Oh, it does. Moving that hand, 
and swapping the head taking care of this little yeah. bit right there so um so then what i would do is just a general kind of color boost um i would remove that sign for their first uh, viewing of it because I want them to know that that's something that will be taken care of. Uh -huh. So this is just sort of just doing the one image is oftentimes a suggestion for a mm -hmm. main piece. And it's also to show them what can be done and will be done in the finals. Mm -hmm. um, so mm -hmm. to show them a little thing like the chin, I try not to do too, too much of that preliminary that they can tell. Mm -hmm. um, so I may just fix something like that and then save it. I don't necessarily need them to see that I've done it emerge and mm -hmm. the before and after. Mm -hmm. So I would probably save this as the before mm -hmm. and then go back in and then add a couple little yeah. frenzies to give yeah. it a little more pop and consider this one to be the original before. Yes. Because if they know that I can do that, some of my clients do. But if they don't know that or they do know that, sometimes they'll take it too far. Once they yeah. realize there's a magic to it, they... Yeah want it all they want the they magic want overly to go bad over the and top you yeah. job and can you <laughs> give me highlights and um and so we include um our, our basic retouching in our in our mm -hmm. pricing but if s someone asked for can i i didn't get a chance to go get highlights can you do that mm -hmm. yeah that would be a quote <laughs> because some of these <laughs> things get a little bit more intricate what i would do is actually at this point i would save it over the original file uh-huh and I would pull the one that I didn't need, mm -hmm. drop it in the note folder. And then I'm just going to do a couple little enhancements on this to give it some pop for the okay. client. So there's a few things that I do. I do make a new layer. I usually put just a simple gradient over it. I'd love to see your layers palette if I could when, when you're I'm doing this. It yes, helps a lot. I'm sorry. No, no, Putting my, a new my layer there. Okay. And I'm just going to do a simple gradient, a large brush at 100%. Oops, that's not a large brush. There we go at 100% and I'm just going to kind of do like this and then I'll drop down to like 44% and just kind of soften those edges. So you're just using the eraser tool, right? Yes. Okay. This is a trick that I use that I'm going to share with you. <laughs> um, on the gradient, I change mine to soft light. Okay. Um, so I don't know how many people use the blend modes in mm -hmm. their gradients. Um, I've never seen too many people do it, a couple people do, but I like the way that the soft light or it multiply, blends with the layer it, it blends it so that yeah. it's not such a harsh circle around it. It just gives it a little bit, you know. Mm -hmm. I also feel like this image has a little bit of blue in it. Mm -hmm. um, so I do have a, a couple of PDG, you know, photograph designs, um, actions that I tend to use parts of mm -hmm. here and there and tweak. Um, and I've tweaked some of these and changed them to the way that I want them to be. Mm -hmm. um, but I use one that's called Warm It Up. And I just ran an action for that. Mm -hmm. And I just drop it down, give it just a little bit more warmth because I like my images warm. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, we just flatten that out. I'm going to go in and just with a multiply from the, I'm going to make a snapshot. Going into history, Kay. making a snapshot, moving my history to it. And I'm going to go in with a multiply here. At I now love what, to hit. What tool are you on? The Your history brush. The history brush, okay. Mm -hmm. I love to use 22%, 33%, 44% because <laughs> I can hit them easy. fast. <laughs> so whenever I'm showing somebody something, they're always like, why 33%? <laughs> because I can hit it quickly. Um, so anything that helps, you know, and I'll just go in and give just a little bit more shadow mm -hmm. underneath, maybe a little more dimension. So putting that brush in multiply mode really helps to, it just, is it just taking the underlying color and, and deepening it and yes. blending it? It's yeah. just like a blend mode, a multiply mm -hmm. blend mode. So I'm just but going in, in and adding in a brush so I can be more specific of where I want it to be. If I wanted to go in and add just a little bit more dimension to her arm, that's mm -hmm. too much. So I'd go to 22%. Um, <laughs> but I might add just a little bit more dimensions in, in her arms right here. Go uh -huh. in and add a little bit more dimension in here, maybe to the sides. Create and some contrast. Yes. Um, I also love to use the same brush by going into screen and adding where they already have highlights. Mm -hmm. Just going in and, and kind of going across those just a little bit, especially mm -hmm. on the rims where I get a little bit of rim light. Mm -hmm in there to give it a little more color boost, a little more pop. Mm -hmm. So um, at that point, I've taken out this, we've ch done a head swap. I've gone in, you know, worked on the chin a little bit, mm -hmm. added a little bit more dimension and highlights and shadow with my multiply. And next thing that I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of a, a portraiture on okay. it. So um, I'll use uh, the portraiture. Are you familiar with portraiture? Yes, very. It's a great, so great I have plug it set to where I want, mm -hmm. uh, so it's pretty much the same every time. And you put it on a new layer, I see. Mm -hmm. So it, once the filter is up, I'll go into here, just lower it. I usually have, 
77. <laughs> <laughs> I usually would just pick around 77%, 66% if I'm working with men, you uh-huh. know, maybe 66, 55 if I'm working with women, you know, 77, 88. Um, but we I'll all go in have and our quirks, don't we? Yes. So I go in and do that, and then I just use the eraser on that separate layer, um, sometimes a little bit lower if I'm doing down in here, mm-hmm. and then I'll bring it up to 100% to hit around the hair, in the ears, in the mouth, the eyes, right in there don't want the hair and then sometimes portraiture I've noticed I'll go in and hit like a 20% and come just in those deep shadows it Mm -hmm. can tend to make those reds look a little funky Mm -hmm. Um, so I'll go in and just get around the hair around the eyes and just erase all that out and then after that what I'll do is sometimes go in and do a soft light make a separate layer do a soft light overall and drop it way down um, just to like 10 or 15% to add a little bit more dimension to it very cool. I'm at five percent. No wonder I'm so not you just that was you you smashed your portraiture layer, mm-hmm. and then just made a duplicate layer of your background, put it in soft light mode, and reduced the opacity. That's yes. all you did. Okay. Yes. And what does that do for you? What does that create? The soft light mode. Yeah. Why do you why do you like to do that? When you say dimension, what do you mean by that? Uh, the soft light just gives it a little bit more dimension in the shadows and okay. in the highlights. And so I'm going to turn it on and off here. So this is without it, and this is with it on. Okay. It's just a little extra pop in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and I don't like too ready of skin tones, um, so I tend to go into my hue saturation, go to my reds, and just hit a two. Mm-hmm. Give me a little bit more warmer tones. Warmer glow. To less the reds. ready. Yes. Um, and so we'll go back to the original. This is the very original, and there's my cell phone. And this is the final version that I would show them. So mm-hmm. I'm just going in and doing a quick little cleanup, a couple highlights in the hair, a little bit more dimension, maybe some shadow, a little push in here if I mm-hmm. need to. Um, and that's it. And that's what they see. So lovely. in terms of the color and all, I'm gonna, I didn't unfortunately make a snapshot at that point, but um, I'm going to start back at the beginning. So just in general, that's what they would see bef- after the swap. Mm -hmm. And then they would see that I've gone in and removed the distractions around the hand. They'll see that the highlights and their hair kind of everything has a little more dimension to it, a lot Mm -hmm. more warmth and a lot more depth. Mm -hmm. And that's that's really all I need them to see. Mm -hmm. Um, Aside from that, if I'm doing a large, large portrait, I'm going to zoom in and probably go in and, you know, work on his wrinkle right there. But I'm not going to show them a lot of that because if they see that in the beginning, then they're going to ask for it on a lot of things where it's not necessary on yeah. smaller portraits yeah. or in an album where it's not necessary. Yeah. Um, so I try not to show too much of that mm-hmm. in their in their viewing process, their ordering process. Gorgeous.